Hello, Bipolar Warriors. This is Bipolar Troy coming to you from Satellite Beach, Florida. Today I'm going to talk about rumination, why it is especially dangerous for us who are bipolar, and techniques we can use to stop ruminating. Before we start, keep in mind that you must assume complete responsibility for your managing your bipolar illness. No one else is going to do it for us. Live by the motto, Bipolar Heal Thyself. Rumination is defined as obsessive thinking about an idea, situation, or choice, especially when it interferes with normal mental functioning. Rumination is especially dangerous for those of us who are bipolar. Studies have shown that rumination results in the onset and persistence of depression and mania, and may even trigger a bipolar episode. Rumination is part of the internal dialogue. The internal dialogue is the incessant voice in our heads that has been programmed and groomed to focus on our egos ever since we started to think. Our minds constantly focus on our internal dialogue or self-talk. The voice of the internal dialogue is the voice of the ego. So what is occurring here is the obsessive tendency for the ego to focus on itself. When you are ruminating, this steady stream of thoughts can make you feel like a prisoner trapped in a tiring cycle of dwelling on negative feelings and feels like the constant turning of a hamster wheel. Common phrases that describe what thought rumination feels like include, I'm always in my head, I have racing thoughts, I'm constantly dwelling on things, I can't shut my mind off, I intend to overthink everything. Ruminating becomes a problem when it's frequently, when it's frequent, ongoing, and it interferes with your ability to engage in daily tasks, concentrate, relate to others, and experience positive emotions. In other words, rumination can be harmful and affect you when you spend an overwhelming amount of time on it and when it heightens or increases your distress. Rumination can diminish critical thinking and problem solving, lead to insomnia, anger issues, and substance abuse, and push away critical social support. So what can we do to stop ruminating? First, you must become aware when you are stuck in the rabbit hole of rumination. Once you realize you are ruminating, it is helpful to have a toolkit of techniques to use as an off button to get unstuck and your mind back on track. The important thing to keep in mind is if no attention is paid to it, the internal dialogue stops. Here are six powerful techniques you can use to stop ruminating. Disentangle yourself. Change your relationship with your thoughts and feelings, which are not facts. Tell yourself not to spend time exploring mind junk. Thoughts and feelings pass on their own if they are simply acknowledged and not fueled. Use mind imagery. For example, visualize yourself on a river bank watching leaves float down a river. They're big when they are up close, but they get smaller and smaller as they disappear in the distance. Do breath work. Breathe in deeply and then exhale slowly while calming your mind. There are free meditation apps that calm the nervous system. Take physical action to focus the mind on other things. Share the burden. When the mind won't calm down, sometimes it helps to unload with someone you fully trust. Use a key word. One technique I use on a daily basis that is making a positive difference is paying close attention to my thoughts. And if I notice I am thinking in a negative way, ruminating over past events, or worrying about what people think of me, I say out loud my keyword, noise, and change my train of thought to something more productive. My psychiatrist recommended I try this idea, and it has served me well in my experiences. In summary, conditioning yourself to recognize when you are ruminating and developing a skill set of techniques to get unstuck does wonders for your overall mental health. Remember, have faith in yourself. Never give up and live by the motto, Bipolar Heal Thyself. You can make your dreams come true. You've got this.